This is an instructional video for the LineView web demo, focusing on the loss analysis screen and the mode selector. It is best to have seen the summary and navigation video first. This screen can be selected from the tab menu which is visible once viewing a specific line. The loss analysis screen is used to better understand your line losses. It is important to understand the data represented is based on the loss to the critical or slowest machine on the line and this provides true causal loss to the line OEE. There is a summary of the data on the right hand side and this is similar to what's on the overview screen but it now includes the total loss, the bottles loss or units lost and the unallocated loss. This screen also visualises the losses due to speed, plan downtime, loss conditions which includes breakdowns and minor stops and quality losses which focus on rejects. Hovering over data points provides more information about that specific area. The speed zone area provides a graphical display of the line V curve and shows the rated speed in black versus the actual speed in green. The height difference between the two visually represents the gap. Any speed loss on the critical machine is displayed in the right hand corner. The planned downtime or setup time can be viewed here. This is showing an 18 minute stop due to flavour change and we can see that it's contributed to 22% of the overall loss. The loss condition area summarises the losses due to minor and major stops. The time lost is the impact each condition has had on the overall line, not the specific machine downtime and it also represents the percentage of loss due to OEE. In this case we can see that the package to the palletizers conveyor has caused 18 minutes worth of loss, stopped three times and it represents 7.5% OEE. The total of all these losses are summarised in the top right hand corner and it can be visually represented either sequentially or in a Pareto. The rejects area represents the OEE loss due to quality and is displayed as a reject loss in time, percentage of loss and also total number of rejects versus total bottles produced. To understand when these losses occurred and what we might want to do about them, we then move on to the status tab.